We already have a, had an opportunity to present some of our technologies from the Institute of Physics Belgrade, but um, I want to tell you a story about a beautiful research that we done at the Institute of Physics Belgrade, which will help us to bring some social innovation in education and solve some of the present and future ch challenges. Unfortunately, we see these pictures every day. Floods and fires are more common than they were like 100 years ago. The reason for this is actually our moder modern way of living, but also uh, the fact that we uh, tried to solve some problems of humanity and ignited some other. Pollution and famine are also very much present in the world. We ate the resources of our earth as an apple. We need new solutions. We need new ways to solve the current and future problems. And believe me, future problems are not going to be smaller. That this is true, you can see the data. This is a plot that actually shows the number of economical crises in a century. There was a double increase in the number of economical crises from 19th to 20th century. And there are quite a few of them in the 21st one. And actually, it's still very young. Large number of crises means that there is a shorter time between two crises. There is less time for society to recuperate and prepare for the next one. We need innovative and, and new interesting solutions, creative solutions that will help us to overcome these present challenges and the future ones. This means we need creative individuals. We have them, of course, but the problem is that their number is very low in the society. At the Institute of Physics Belgrade, we actually started asking ourselves how we can solve this problem. Is there a way, is there a way in research actually that can show us what is the best solution? Steffi mentioned earlier Leonardo. Leonardo innovated, changed the way we are doing art. He changed the way we are doing science. Renaissance is the start of a new way of doing science. We've done science in a very different way up to that century. But please keep in mind, Leonardo was not separate from the world. He wasn't the only one. He wasn't the only one who actually done this. There was a group of people working in Florence who actually made this. His peers, his friends, and his mentor. His mentor was Alessandro del Verrocchio. He created a workshop where young artists can learn skills, can learn how to create, and can learn how to be mentors. And actually, some of them created Michelangelo. This is an anecdotal example of creative people. But of course, as a scientist, we always ask ourselves, is there some other examples? Can we actually quantify this? And luckily, we live in the age of data science. Yes, we can. Because people like today to leave information about themselves. And scientists like to talk about and think about their scientific ancestry. This means they like to know who were their mentors were and mentors of their mentors. Mathematicians have a very nice project. It's called a Mathematical Genealogy Project. Physicists and others created, but mathematician one is a very advanced one. They actually gave the data about their mentors and mentors of their mentors. And we can use these data to actually study how the creativity spreads. Of course, mathematics is a very uh, mature field, so they can actually create lists of the greatest mathematicians ever. And using these lists, we can actually look at how many of them were really creative people and how many of them actually changed our world and our science. These are some of these names. I'm pretty sure many of you actually know about Bernoulli and uh, about um, Poisson or, or, or uh, Fourier. Okay? These are very famous people, not just for physicists or, or mathematicians, but also for people from economics or, and other sciences. This list of names looks very unconnected, but actually it's very much connected. These connections shows 
mentor-student relationship. There is a huge cluster of very creative mathematicians who are actually connected with each other. And actually, if you go beyond mathematics, you will see that this cluster spills over to physics and to chemistry. So creativity is a spreading process. It's not created by, with the hand of God, but actually, each of us has an opportunity to be, to be a creative person, but we need to learn how to be this. Our mentors are the ones who are responsible for this. As a physicist, we like spreading processes. We really like them because we know how to quantify them, we know how to describe them, and we know how to model them. Using these models, we can actually uh, try to find the best way and what are the principles governing these spreading processes. Here is an example of forest fire. Believe it or not, it's very similar to spreading of creativity. It's very similar to spreading of diseases and, and very similar to spreading of innovation. These are schemes of two very simple forests. Of course, very simple schemes. But these forests have the same number of trees, but very different connectivity between trees. How you spread the fire in the forest, you ignite one uh, tree. And then there is a probability for this fire to spread, that, uh, spread further. The probability of spreading depends on the number of neighbors a tree has. So this means the connectivity is very important. Actually, by knowing this, we also know how to, dis how to stop this fire. And if you look at the yellow tree on the right side of this, if you destroy it or cut it down, you can actually stop the spre spreading of wildfire. There is also the opposite way. Knowing these things, you can actually try to spread the wildfire, for instance, in the, sense of in the case of creativity. And can we ignite the wildfire in creativity? Yes, we can. Probability to create a creative student is more or less fixed. So this means that we have to look on how many students a, a mentor has. Each mentor has to have a critical or more than critical number of students to have this spread of wildfire. And we actually have very nice examples in, in, in the past about this. Germany and France had a peak of Nobel Prizes in the beginning of 20th century, which were the consequence of these wildfires that spill over from mathematics to these other fields of science. In the Institute of Physics Belgrade, we take this very seriously. We realize that we need to connect people. We have to put them in situations where they can actually um, uh, exchange their ideas, uh, where they can exchange their knowledge. We have a beautiful equipment, which, which you can see here, but actually people are the, our main resource. By destroying virtual and physical walls between different laboratories, we created several very creative ideas, and one of them is Teslagram. Teslagram is a technology that uses true biological structures to actually protect on a very high security level to protect our data and our goods. And actually originated in is developed at the Institute of Physics Belgrade. But what is more important, we have a new social innovation based on our research. It's called Verrocchio Center. This Verrocchio Center is what will change uh, the way we are doing education. It's our social innovation. We search for changing the paradigm of education. This is a project of the Institute of Physics Belgrade, and it's actually supported by the government of Republic of Serbia, which we are very thankful to. And we have very, very big uh, scientific institution actually supporting this project. What is the idea behind this project is that we want to put 50 or more very young and very educated and talented people in one pot. And we want to make them to communicate and exchange their ideas and to try to think out of the box. We want to create a melting pot. By creating this, we will be able to change the way we are doing science, the way we are doing innovation, the way we are actually doing education in Serbia. Hopefully, in the future, we will also use the idea about the of spreading processes to actually spread it out of the Serbia. Please, if you're interested in this, contact us. Come and help us to ignite this fire together. Thank you.